Hi, today we're going to be talking about making a three-part takedown bow out of PVC pipe and fiberglass rods. It's pretty easy to do, it's pretty cheap, you can find all the pieces at a local hardware store. And uh, by way of introduction, my name is Joshua Blum. I recently wrote a book called The Thirteenth Hour, which is kind of a fantasy um, coming-of-age story where archery is featured a fair amount as shown in the pictures here. And in the book, I read about this group of soldiers that are issued three-part takedown bows, as shown in the picture. And I wanted to see if I could make something like that. I've been making bows out of PVC pipe for a while, and uh, this was the first successful attempt that I've had in making something like that, and it was so easy that I wanted to share it. You'll need a minimum of tools, um, a heat gun or some kind of heat source like a stove in a safe place to heat up the PVC pipe, a few short lengths of PVC pipe, and two fiberglass rods that you can find um, in a hardware store. So the first thing you want to do is figure out how long of a bow you want. For example, I was aiming for a 60 inch bow, meaning that I wanted 30 inches on each limb for the, each fiberglass rod. Next you'll want to take two pieces of PVC pipe. I used half inch pipe and three quarter inch pipe. Those are the diameters. And you'll want to heat up the thicker pipe, in this case the three quarter inch pipe, so that it's malleable and it expands. And you want to do this so that it's basically like a wet noodle. And this is a part where it really helps to have gloves so it protects your hands or a rag or something like that. And you want to take the thinner pipe and stuff it through so it looks like uh, this picture. The uh, double walled pipe helps to create a stronger handle area which is under a lot of stress and also um, the staggered design like this helps to create a smoother profile for the bow. Next you want to take a saw and cut some knocks in the ends of the fiberglass rods for the bowstring to sit in. You can paint the uh, PVC riser if you'd like, which I did here. And the other thing I did, which was helpful, is putting um, some marks on the limbs and the riser so you can line them up correctly. This uh, makes sure that the whole bow is in alignment when it's strung. You may need to wrap some electrical tape around the ends of the fiberglass rods so it's a tight fit. And the other thing I did, mainly for protection, is wrap clear packing tape around the fiberglass rods. So here's the finished product. So let's see how it all goes together. Here are the three pieces of the bow, two limbs and the riser. You fit the, this piece in here, and you line up the dot and the line on the limb there. Same thing on this side. Bring it. There you go, there's one end. And then here. I was aiming for something pretty minimalistic with this bow, so I didn't add an arrow rest. You just shoot off the hand, but you could totally add an arrest if you'd like. Um, as it is now, you either sh can shoot off the index finger side of your hand or the thumb side, depending on which you prefer. There's a lot of different ways of shooting a bow. One is not necessarily better than the other, just find one way that works for you. So now we're going to go outside and test it and see how it works outside. There's like uh, 6,000 feet of snow, so it should make a great backstop for the arrows. Another thing that you could do if you wanted a recurve, it would probably add a few pounds of draw weight to the bow, is to add recurved PVC tips to the ends of the fiberglass rods. And you would just need to flatten some short pieces of PVC and get them to fit um, snugly. And there you'd have a five-part takedown bow. This is a picture of a book uh, written by Nicholas Tomahama. It has a lot of great uh, take down PVC archery projects and he has a YouTube channel under the name of Backyard Boyer uh, where he talks about a lot of his projects there you can check it out uh, it's all free or you can check out his book for more uh, detailed instructions I didn't actually know about his book at the time when I was doing this project but I wish I had 
uh, and then I got it and saw there's lots of great uh, things to make in there. So check it out. And uh, feel free to contact uh, me through the website here if you're interested in learning more about the, uh, the novel that spawned this project. Um, please check out the link. Thank you for watching and take care.